October 17th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 141 and 142 from the Old Testament. O Lord, I cry out to you, come quickly to me. Pay attention to me when I cry out to you. May you accept my prayers like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening offering. O Lord, place a guard on my mouth. Protect the opening of my lips. Do not let me have evil desires or participate in sinful activities with men who behave wickedly. I will not eat their delicacies. May the godly strike me in love and correct me. May my head not refuse choice oil. Indeed, my prayer is a witness against their evil deeds. They will be thrown down the side of a cliff by their judges. They will listen to my words, for they are pleasant. As when one plows and breaks up the soil, so our bones are scattered at the mouth of Sheol. Surely I am looking to you, O sovereign Lord. In you I take shelter. Do not expose me to danger. Protect me from the snare they have laid for me and the traps the evildoers have set. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I escape. To the Lord I cry out, to the Lord I plead for mercy. I pour out my lament before him. I tell him about my troubles. Even when my strength leaves me, you watch my footsteps. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. Look to the right and see. No one cares about me. I have nowhere to run. No one is concerned about my life. I cry out to you, O Lord. I say you are my shelter my security in the land of the living. Listen to my cry for help, for I am in serious trouble. Rescue me from those who chase me, for they are stronger than I am. Free me from prison, that I may give thanks to your name. Because of me the godly will assemble, for you will vindicate me. God, so many places throughout the Bible, you talk about taking on our yoke, about giving us your strength, about being there to carry us through situations. And we so foolishly hardly ever take you up on that. We complain a lot about being exhausted and tired and worn out. But how often do we stop and literally just kneel at your, at your feet and say, God, all of this is yours. I can't. I can't do it anymore. I couldn't do it before. I don't know what made me think I could. I just need to turn all of this over to you and then ask you to please show me which of these pieces do you want me to do? Which of these pieces do you want me to move forward with? God, in the Psalm 142 where the psalmist talks about, even when my strength leaves me, you watch my footsteps. And in other translations, it talks about uh, fainting, just overcome with just feeling too much pressure. And I get that. I think most people get that and understand when we feel overwhelmed, we can't, we feel like we can't even go on one more day. We don't want to wake up the next morning. We just can't ever seem to get caught up. I'm pretty sure everyone listening has gone through that. But that process that you don't want us to take on the world. I always call it, we shouldn't be a martyr. <laughs> we shouldn't think that in order to be this perfect Christian, that we have to do everything. That everybody has to like us. We always have to say exactly the right thing. We always have to do this. We always have to take care of this. We always have to do this. And we're so busy trying to do all the right thing that we forget the basis of our faith, which is a relationship with you. And that relationship with you is about trust and obedience. And do we truly trust you? And are we truly being obedient to you if we are so busy running around keeping all of these plates in the air and not allowing you to come into our life? You know, one of the things I struggle with the most, of course you know, one of the things I struggle with the most is just being quiet in my life. Just being quiet and allowing you to talk to me and work in my life. I'm so busy being in command of my life and in control of my life and 
independent and strong that I forget that that's not what you've commanded me to be. I can be weak and quiet and calm <laughs> in your presence, in your arms. And you can take on all of these things. And then you can hand back to me just the things that you want me to be in control of, that you want me to work for. Now, I know you want me to work. and I know you want me to do things. doesn't mean I give up everything to you. But I highly doubt that you want me to be so stressed, taking on all of these promises from all of these people that I want to please, that I feel so stressed out that I forget the true calling of why I'm here on earth. So God, the strength inside of me is not really strength. It's just me trying to control things. And I know you watch me stumble over and over and over again in doing that. God, I just ask you today that you guide those steps that you're watching so close. That you take this incredible amount of busyness off of my hands. And only show me the things that you truly want me to do. Not things for my ego, not things for status, not things for money, not things for titles, not things for all these other reasons. But just hand back to, to my life and to my heart and to my mind those things that are important to you and, and allow me to do those things and do them fabulously for you. Not being overwhelmed, not being stressed out, not fainting because I just can't take it anymore. God, I know that if I'm doing things for you, there'll still be persecution. I get that. But I know without a shadow of a doubt that this pressure that we feel, it's self-imposed. And it's also being disobedient to you. Again, you ask us to trust and to be obedient. God, help us to learn how to do that. Help us to learn to rely on you and not be so trusting in our own independence that always makes the wrong choices and seems to mess a lot of things up. God, allow our path that you want us to walk to be so clear. Allow us not to get distracted by all these other things that happen throughout the day. Allow us to not be distracted by the things we think we want. But again, trusting you and turn all of these things over and then listen with our hearts and our minds to what you truly want us working on. All of us have a set amount of time here on earth. And I know you want us to be doing the things that you want us to do, not the things that we want to do. Rarely do the two cross over. You want what is best for us. And you want our, our limited amount of time here on earth to be the best possible life it could be. And you do that because you love us and you created us. You don't want us to feel overwhelmed and stressed out. But you do want us to be obedient and to reflect your glory and your mercy and your grace. In your son's name I pray. Amen. <laughs>